Howdy, folks. Welcome. This is Jeff Eubanks Iyer. Got on my Amish hat today. What do you think? Got a pass? They're beautiful. I mean, beautiful. Sunday afternoon. I got my Peterson out here and some Sutcliffe. Sut Cliff vanilla custard cream. Try and get lit and keep it lit. <clears throat> Hope everybody's had a good week. Hope everyone went to church this morning. It being Sunday. The puppies are going somewhere they shouldn't be. Well, <clears throat> I put a video up yesterday of my purple martins. I also put a video up of... Um, bees. I split two hives yesterday because they were just absolutely busting at seams. And I found drones in both hives. One hive actually had some queen cups, but they were empty. So those bees were getting ready to swarm. And folks, that's how you lose your bees when they swarm. But you know, I got out there and working with them. I'm gonna come back in the house. And my wife said, well, how'd it go? I said, well, that black, it's a lot light work. I just don't get any enjoyment out of the bees. I used to. Reckon why. If I don't get a thing lit pretty quick, I'm hanging it up for today. But reckon why I don't like, well, not that I don't like, I just don't enjoy working with my bees like I used to. Because it's, it's work, I mean. And my whole, my whole outlook on life is like that. A lot of things I used to really enjoy, just don't uh, uh, toot my horn like I used to. Now, I'm sure most of you have seen pictures of me and realize that I still enjoy eating. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, a lot of things that used to, I used to really enjoy, I don't enjoy as much. So uh, I'm going to drop that for a while, too. So, but I have, I am active in my bee yard. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna put out swarm traps now. I think I might just work with what I've got, split off of those, and just go like that. Uh, now to touch on my purple martins. Oh, it's windy out here. Yesterday, I made a, a video reporting, I think I had eight or nine, I forget now. And you might say, well, I don't see them now. Well, see, uh, bee martin class. If you're trying to get martins your first time, don't fear. You still have time. Wherever you're at in the United States, you have time to, uh, to get purple martins to your uh, site. First off, you must make it very attractive to them. Uh, you can go online and purchase the Martin Dawn Song, D-A-W-N Song, S-O-N-G, which is, I'm tired of missing this pipe. Yeah, I'm done. Hang on, time, that's that time. Uh, which is uh, the songs that the male martins sing early in the morning to attract uh, more martins to their site. I'm done with that hat. I'm too pretty to cover my head up with a hat. <coughs> so uh, you can purchase that and play that every morning from about five o'clock in the morning to about eight. And I'm getting buzzed by a bee right now. 
uh, and that will be a, a great attractant. Now, if, if, I'm putting all this stuff up. If you are new to Martins, I would highly suggest you getting this book. Uh, my buddy Bruce Weeks brought this to me. I've got one of these around here somewhere, Bruce. I don't know where, but there is just a treasure trove of information in here about purple martins, about their habitat, uh, successfully attracting martins. You know, all this stuff. There goes my Amish hat. Oh my gosh! If it gets to the pasture, the goats will eat it. But uh, yes. So if you're interested in getting martins, I hope this win is not being picked up on this microphone. Uh, if you're interested in getting Martins, get that Purple Martin book by Stokes. You'll be stoked if you get a Purple Martin book by Stokes. So uh, the um, the Martins are showing up. Uh, like I said, mine showed up, what was it, 20th, 19th to 20th of February. And yesterday I was up to 9. And I'm going to kill that bee if it stings me. That's just it. I'm going to kill it if it stings me. Um, so uh, they've been get, growing in numbers, but I've been, I mean, the, I've got a Cooper's hawk around here, at least one. There may be more than one. I wish them SOBs just fly on down the road. Uh, they are wreaking havoc on my mark. Yesterday, the, the cock-a-doodle-doo was sitting on that middle pole on top of it right in the evening when the martins are coming in. And I, I'm telling you, I'm just, uh, uh, that really deters, upsets me and distresses me and it almost makes me want to shut down my martin site because, I mean, they, they just pick them off left and right. I mean, a Cooper's Hawk is the F-22, the F-22 of the, what is that word? There's a special word for a, uh, it starts with an A. Aerial predator, I mean, that's not the word I'm looking at, but I mean, no hawk, no, no, I mean, maybe a peregrine falcon, something like that, but around here, we don't have peregrine falcons, and we don't have, that dead blame B, I'm only just, I guess she wants to be on video. And your name is Beatrice. And pay no, if you can hear that goat, don't worry about her, she's in heat. She's lovesick. Be fine. Shut up. <sighs> oh. So anyhow, I'm getting very, very uh, dis, dis, disen, disenchanted by this uh, Cooper's Hawk. So uh, I'm going to go today and buy an owl decoy, plastic owl decoy, and put that up. The CDs are not working. No. Uh, the other day, that blame hawk come in and snagged one of my uh, pigeons down there. <laughs> Probably, well, right between the two CDs I have hanging, and of course you can't really see them right now because the wind has got them tangled up in the superstructure they're attached to. Dang, that goat is crazy. I had to come out here last night at like 10.30 and feed them, and that shut her up. But she's not hungry, folks. There's grass out there. There's plenty of grass out there for them goats. So, but anyway. So, but once you do get purple marks to, to, to show up, you know, you're going to be surprised because you'll look out there either one morning or one evening and you'll see some purple marks. And you're going to think, oh joy, I've got purple marks. And then you're going to look out there and they're going to be gone. Well, then you might not see them for a day or two, but then next thing you know, you're down there, you're looking one morning or one evening and there's purple marks. And that's what they do. This time of the year, they are uh, finding their uh, territories, their, their nest sites, and um, looking for mates. Once they do that, then they go eat. They eat, they eat on the wing, they eat insects, so they have to fly nonstop just about to sustain themselves. So if you, if you are trying to get martins and you look down there one day and you've got a couple, and then later on in the day, you don't see them the rest of that day. Bella, come here. I left the basement door open and she's going in the basement. She shouldn't be. She knows that. Uh, but yeah, they'll be back. Don't worry, they'll be back. So, uh, so anyhow, yeah, we are uh, 
are just uh, really enjoying this weather. My blackberries have not started blooming yet. I, to I know I told you last week I'd probably have blooms by this weekend. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, but they're, they're not far. And believe you me, as soon as they start popping, there'll be a video. There will be a video. But we are just uh, uh, hanging here on the farm, doing what we, you know, I had my Amish hat on, but the, it just, it didn't, it wasn't becoming on me, folks. I don't know what to think about that. It just wasn't becoming on me at all. So anyhow, if you are wanting to get into Martins, here's a beautiful book, a wonderful book. Yep. Um, if uh, you're wanting to get bees, uh, if you uh, want any information about how to, I think I got videos on how to set out swarm traps. I got video, I got a bunch of videos about purple martins. Um, so, you know, just check it out. Check them out, you'll learn something. You might learn something from this old redneck. But uh, we uh, are going to be going to dinner tonight with some friends of ours, Scott and Sheila. Gonna go eat Mexican. And it really irritates me. I couldn't get my pipe going today. It really does. Of course, Tony, I bet you'll be happy. Tony has told me he don't like me smoking my pipe. And that's all right. I don't mind that. I can handle that. I am going to go down there and choke that goat. Can y'all hear? <sighs> and she sounds like she's in distress, but she's not. She's just wanting her boyfriend. And I'll tell you something. Making noise like that, she may not get no boyfriend. I know if my wife made a noise like it, I probably wouldn't ask her out on a second date. So anyway, well, there you have it. That's it in a nutshell here from the farm. Uh, we are just doing what we do best around here. I'm not sure what that is, but we're doing it good. We're doing it real good. And uh, just uh, hanging in there, kicking and screaming. So, uh, hey, where'd my clicker go? I probably put it in this pocket at the very bottom. Now, for you, those those of you that watch, you know this is an ongoing struggle to get my clicker to click. <laughs> get my clicker to click. It's about like everything else that I have to deal with. It works sometimes, it don't. So what I've done, see, it's a flash in blue, a flash in blue. And there's that, mus that, that blame B back in. Yeah, uh, had to split two hives, and I noticed there's a good bit of bee activity back here. But, um, I don't know. It's a real nice day. I don't, I don't see any hanging swarm, so we're going to say they haven't swarmed. But, uh, so anyway, uh, like my video, I'd appreciate it. And, uh, subscribe to my channel if you like that. I appreciate all the folks that have subscribed to my channel. I hope I'm providing you with enjoyment and entertainment. Because that's what we need in life. Enjoyment and entertainment. Well, we need Jesus first. But if you got Jesus, you'll have enjoyment and entertainment. Take it from me, because I've had a rough time recently finding enjoyment and entertainment. But I still have Jesus. Y'all take care. Didn't work. Let's try. Y'all take care, part two.